Good morning. It's uh, 7.30. Couldn't sleep anymore, so I bought some things this weekend. And uh, I thought let's put it on video. The first thing I uh, bought is this uh, CD single from Porcupine Tree. Lazarus. Um, I bought it because of the two non-album tracks, so I thought. So Lazarus is on it and so-called Friend and Half Light. Um, those songs aren't on the regular CD, there are only nine tracks. On the DVDA, on one DVDA there are the tracks, uh, those tracks, those two tracks are on there. But also on the vinyl. On the vinyl, those two tracks are here at the end. So if you are a CD collector, it's very nice to have that single because the two tracks, if you are onto vinyl, the two tracks are already on the, on the album. Um, Modern Child Divided is also a track uh, from the uh, Dead Wing series. It's uh, on the DVD. Uh, this DVD, it's also a track from there, which I a very nice track. I don't think there's a studio track of this because uh, I didn't see it anywhere. So, CD single, Occupy Tree. Another item I bought this weekend is this one, special for me. I was uh, searching in the, the P. In the record store, and I found this album. Um, I don't know what the cover is, like stones. Not a very special cover. It's a gatefold with the inside of uh, Signify in another color. And this is the backside. Live at Rock Plus 2005, recorded in Köln, Germany. So these tracks are on here. Um, I suppose I think it's tracks from this CD. This is a, an unofficial CD, and I have an unofficial, unofficial printed CD version of this one. But the tracks from here, some tracks are on this one, on vinyl. Um, there are also two tracks on this DVD from the concert of. Uh, German rock palast, this futile and radioactive toys on this uh, this DVD, and some other tracks are let's, let's see uh, Blackest Eyes, Lazarus, uh, Modern Child Divided as is also here, So Called Friend, uh, The Sound of Music, Start of Something Beautiful, Halo and Radioactive Toy. So I just listened to a little piece of it. Uh, sound quality is okay. Not super super, but that's okay. But uh, as a Porcupine Tree fan, I uh, thought I uh, couldn't leave it at the record store. So, bootleg album. The next thing I bought is this C, uh, is this album from uh, Prince. And um, this is uh, a reissue from 2020, so very new. I saw Derek uh, had a copy of this also, and I thought this very, very uh, nice. For me, maybe one of the best Prince albums after 2000. This is from 2001, and um, of course I listened. To, I, I uh, I'm a bit, a bit crazy. I just sold my Prince collection with singles and. Um, Vinyl and CDs and bootlegs. I had a very great, uh, a very uh, big collection. Uh, I sold it, but this one I think I thought, well, oh, yes, nice. I like the music, a bit jazzy, funky music, and I like also the artwork. Uh, the way the this is presented. So this is the, the gatefold. This is the inside of the Prince album. front and as Derek uh, related he said where where's Prince but Prince is here in the, in the corner it's 
си буклет Rainbow Children with the text Rainbow Children, very nice track Muse to Pharaoh, very nice second track Willing to work, work very good 1 plus 1 is 3, very funky so I think uh, this is a very nice uh, nice album so John Blackwell Larry Graham he's very into uh, religion Je Jehovah's Witness um, this is on clear vinyl so the text is very uh, religion minded but I don't listen to text a lot so for me the music is very very well very good and what's nice about this is that this is the slip mat that comes along with it well, slip mats aren't very good for the albums at least there's a little bit of dust it can catch but this is of course very nice and when you put the record on the spindle with the slip mat you get a very nice view of the album so very nice uh, I have a CD also but this was uh, something I had to, to grab so very nice the rainbow children from Prince and then I went to another store in Groningen and a very special store with very special music and uh, there were a lot of albums and I didn't know what it was one of the albums was this one and I saw it and uh, I slept one night over it and I still had to get it it's Losers for all the round sons and it's a Portugal's band Losers never heard of them um, I wanted to be uh, surprised so I uh, it was a nice price he had a lot of nice cover cars there let's see where the vinyl is it's on the top let's see if there's something else in there is some kind of sheet in it so Portuguese band I think the first Portuguese band problem I have a Portuguese band so well, let's be careful with the sticking. Let's see about the vinyl. So I will uh, listen to it and maybe uh, review it once. I don't know if I don't sh search it up on the internet. I don't know what. I know nothing about this album. So curious. And then I uh, asked the man if he could recommend me an album. He couldn't really, but I saw this one. I heard the name once, Totem Makut. And it's, uh, I think, an English band. Uh, and this album is from 1971, with a very nice album cover. Uh, let's see. The stick is here. It's a jazz orientated album also very strange name I first thought it was the name of a person but it has to do something with Haiti this is still sealed also so I think. let's open it up he put some music on and I like it so I thought let's get surprised once more this is a reissue from Akama Akama Records from Italy I have uh, some issues on the Akama label. They put out very uh, nice, old, good albums on new vinyl. You see it here in the corner. I will show you the vinyl. Very uh, the quality of the is very good of the cover. And this is the, the album itself with the label of the Akana on the other side.
So I have to uh, some listening to do again, and uh, I'm enjo enjoying already. But first, let's go to work, and uh, hope you enjoyed the video. And until the next time, bye bye for now.